hello everybody here we are um, my wife came out she's gonna do a little droning and I got a helper with me right now hello. so hopefully you guys enjoy the drone and hopefully enjoy the voiceover I don't know if I'll show the video or just my voice I guess while I'm when we're doing this but we'll see I guess but Owen, you hold on tight because it's kind of bumpy, okay? Don't have a nice buddy seat for him to set in, so this feels uh, a little rough for some reason. But we're still running a pretty good clip, I guess. But I don't know where the drone went, but it's flying around somewhere, I'm sure. See, there's places that the we're hauling bales off. There's actually spots you'll, I'm sure you'll see on the drone footage. Your spots out where bales were setting, and it's green, and that's oats I planted in later. So, not sure what we're gonna do with this rye field. This is the field that we grazed off really hard. Um, I made some videos on it, and now we're gonna cut it for hay. And uh, it's a little shorter than the other rye, or quite a bit shorter than the other rye, probably about a foot shorter, but. To me it looks a lot leafier, so I kind of wonder if this is just uh, a little behind. It's not flowering yet, but I wanted to get it off. Um, I got to start hook my planter back up here in a few days, so I need to get all the hay in that I can done, so I won't be able to do much haying after that until I get done planting. But I guess you guys can kind of let me know what you think. Uh, what we should do, or opinions, uh, Brad, you, I want your opinion too. My original plan was to hay this and then plant cover crop on it, but I think it's too early for my radishes and my turnips. So I was wondering if I should plant some millet on it and then take a crop of millet off and then plant a cover crop later. Or uh, if I should try to plant something else with the millet. Um, in case the cover crop didn't get was too late for the cover crop, but I think I should be able to get the millet heat off in time to plant a cover crop. I'm not really sure, I guess, what what to do. I guess, and it's up in the air. I guess there's no decisions going to be made now. So, if you want to, I guess just leave a comment on the video, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, yesterday. You guys have already seen the footage of me uh, cutting alfalfa. No drone footage of that though, just, uh, just me yambering on. And uh, I did use about a half a gallon and a fuel an acre or so. And I did cut about 60 acres in uh, roughly four hours. So um, that I didn't think was too bad for uh, full type. Hang on when we turn around, okay? Um, I didn't think that was too bad for a a full type machine here um, or you know if, if I got on a big circle where I didn't have to turn around it probably wouldn't be terrible but I think uh, I think turning around with a pull type is just you're gonna lose a lot of time because you got to slow way down where uh, a self-propelled you can really cook when you turn around get lined back up I'm using the auto steer still today a couple spots you'll see out there where you missed a little strip well that's from when I hit a badger hole, um, I uh, should have shut my GPS off or my auto steer off, so I left a little street there on the hole, but it's not the end of the world. It'll, it'll be all right, won't it? You'll come out and pick it by hand and feed it to your bottle calves. You can come out and mow it off and haul it home. You don't know. Well, what do you think about riding in the tractor? You gonna talk to him a little bit? You don't wanna talk? We need to get a buddy seat, I think, for him, and he'll be doing pretty good. Um, you guys that are wondering, I will. I'm gonna make in this video now. I'm gonna make uh, when I before I unhook this mower tomorrow. I'm going to make an overview of it, and uh, that will be posted as soon as possible. I know there's some people interested in in my opinion of it so far, so I'm gonna do an overview of it. And uh, actually tomorrow I'll also be bailing, so I might make some video of bailing too. Um, we'll see how that all goes. 
I think I'll be bailing tomorrow as long as it don't rain. They're talking maybe thunderstorms, but we'll see, I guess. Time will tell. I know. Been having fun cutting hay with it. I haven't plugged it up so far, so that's always a plus. Um, I don't know how big a tractor it'd take to pull it, you know. I mean, it's really not pulling this tractor that hard. Um, this tractor probably roughly around 200 horse, so I'd hope I don't work it too hard, but I know the self propelled are even bigger than this, you know, for horsepower wise. But I just don't know. We're gonna try it probably later on the year, hooking it to a smaller tractor. Um, like a 140 Pro, I know uh, there's a, several of you guys out there that have similar size of tractor to that, so we'll see if, if that actually can pull it, and I, I'm sure it will. Um, I just don't know how fast it'll pull it. Um, I actually, earlier I shifted up, I can cut in my next gear, but my next gear is about 11 and a half mile an hour. So that's a little bit, that's a little bit fast for me. I like to go fast, but I guess 10 and a half or, 10, 10 mile an hour is kind of where I like to be at, I guess. It seems to be working pretty good. There's the wife, she's filming yet. And uh, so far, I'm, I'm happy with the GPS on these, on the cutting. I tried it the first day I was cutting on some uh, hilly ground. And I think since this thing pulls to the side, it just don't work. Um, it just don't work to, do that on the on the side hills like that because it pulls just a little bit less when you're going one way or the other and, and that's kind of just what I think I guess but I don't know for sure um, but it just didn't seem to work but on the flat ground it seems to be working pretty good I've got the oh wrong gear I guess a little better slow down um, I got the I've got the um, auto steer set for 15 foot. Um, I, that seems to be working the best. I seem to be centered down the windrow, not driving on any of it or very little of it on one side or the other, so I think that's working. Um, I'm running WASP. I don't have any correction or very little correction, I guess, so um, once in a while if I stop for whatever reason I need to adjust my line, but that's with anything, I guess. But there's a tracks where we went and got bales from a pile. There's the drone. I don't know if you guys can see that. But we'll uh, we'll get some hopefully some good footage. I know uh, she's kind of new at running that drone. He hasn't used it very much, and uh, you know, cutting hay. I guess I'm I'm going pretty fast, so. She's, uh, she's probably boogieing right along, it seems like to her, you know, I'm sure to, to get good footage. Um, I guess if there's different angles that you'd like me her to maybe try to get, I don't know, you can suggest it, but whether she listens to your suggestions or not, or that's up to her, I guess. I just want her to be happy and still run it for me, because I don't think I want to try to fly and drive at the same time. It doesn't sound like a good idea, does it? Yeah. Nope end up having an accident. I know I done that that one day and it was a lot harder than what I thought. But I'll kind of let you guys know on my samples of my rye what uh, what it tests. Um, this field, like I said, was grazed and it probably not quite as far along as the other field that I just cut. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I'll kind of let you know how it tons out and then how it tests on a, probably a future video. Once we get the samples done, I think it'll be interesting to know or look at. I don't know. I don't know if the drone's still around or if she flew away. Maybe she flew away. But I enjoy all your guys' comments, so please comment if you have any questions or comments. And um, check me out on Instagram. I, I tend to put pictures on there frequently. Hang on. Um, tractor jerks a little when we shift down and there's no way I'm going to try to turn around going that fast so um, one thing I have noticed with this mower compared to our 1475 hybrid swing um, we normally only use uh, we normally only put down uh, four windrows on the end with that 
and where this machine it seems like I couldn't get turned around in four windrows so I ended up I go I'm gonna start doing six on all of them six six passes or three rounds so so I got plenty of room to turn around because there's no reason to be crowding ourselves I guess so that's what we're gonna do there um, what do you say how tall is this rye Owen you don't know, would you say it's about four foot or so, you think? Yeah, I think it's probably about four foot up myself, too. Um, this was an old alfalfa field for you guys that are new. Um, I planted it, sprayed it out last fall and planted this rye on it. And it just looks like the rye is just thicker than thick. Uh, I've got a really good stand. Um, I don't know if grazing it off made it more leafy, but it appears like there's a lot more leaf to the plant. Than the stuff I was cutting the other day on the other video my first day cutting with the new disc mine and uh, and that's that I guess but I'm gonna shut my recording off here I appreciate you guys watching please comment rate and subscribe for more um, um, like I said I'll be doing a review video on this mower once I'm uh, done and I guess if somebody wants more video of it i'm sure i'll get some more video of it eventually but i'll be done cutting until i think i'll be done cutting until it's time to cut oats which will be oh probably several weeks yet so we'll let you guys go and please comment rate and subscribe for more and got anything you want to add to the end we'll see you when we see you thanks bye